My name is Henry Irving, I'm a PhD student at the University of Leeds. My research is based on the development of economic controls in the decade after the Second World War, and I'd like to use this opportunity to illustrate what this means and why I think it's important. So, what are controls? My work looks at those of an industry. Basically, this type of control stops people from making something, encourages them to make something else, or helps balance production between the two. These choices reflect priorities, and understanding the controls, or how the decisions were made, can help us to better understand the political context and the politicians who decided what the priorities were, what controls to use, or whether to use controls at all. So what would have influenced their decision? Well, the context is obviously important. Knowing what materials you have, and what products you need. But as one and two are rarely equal, difficult choices still have to be made. So you might look at historical examples or precedents to see what others have done before you. Or you might turn to your advisors, whether economists, civil servants, or party political figures. Indeed, you might be influenced by your party's ideals, its ideology, or the promises it made to get elected. And this point's important because politicians, in a democracy at least, depend on public support to be in a position to make decisions at all. You might then think about those that are likely to be most popular, those that will get you the most votes. You might look at public opinion polls or to the press to get an idea of what the people wanted. Or you might be influenced by specific interest groups and individuals. Of course, you'd probably also want to know what your opponents are saying about your choices and what they are promising too. Because all these factors are interlinked, and because their immediacy can change over time, this becomes a very complicated picture, and the relationship between the economics and the politics remains far from clear. But looking at a specific issue, like controls, can help us to make sense of this complexity, and that, ultimately, is my aim.